So it's three days until launch. Don't even have the product. Uh, a, a lot of people were actually really confused about it. I don't know if I work hard enough, or I don't know if I'm good enough for this. Ah! Ah! It's, it's almost there, like it's, it's there. <laughs> Is it true you didn't have the product when you launched? Yes. What were you thinking? Listen, when you're an entrepreneur, your mission is to sell a vision. A vision doesn't need to exist yet. My name is Jay Darmawangza. I'm 18 years old, and I'm the CEO at PBJ App. Was that good? If I had to describe Jade, I, I, like, I'd say I know a decent amount of people. She's pretty much at the top of the list when it comes to like crazy, um, insane ideas. And so pretty much anything she says, you've got to like double check what you're thinking. So how did you get started? PBJ started in 2017. I remember that was the year I also left high school. I mean, being 18, I told myself, what do I know? I felt like a fraud. Um, like, even if I didn't see results, the only thing that I told myself was, consistency brings confidence. I got an idea. So PBJ, right, we've been, we've been making Good tutorials, but we gotta spice it up a bit. I'm bored. Okay? Notebooks. Okay. I'm confused. I thought you were an app company. Why are you selling notebooks? Right, see, people think we just sell notebooks, but you're just seeing the product. You're not getting the vision. Okay, so here's the thing 2020 is coming up. The self employment market is booming. And more than ever, there's freelancers, entrepreneurs, and maybe you right now watching want to start a YouTube channel. But the hardest thing is to be consistent. When you don't see those numbers, how do you keep going? Imagine if there's a way to get rewarded for being consistent. We provide the tools and technology to keep you confident on your personal brand journey. It, yeah, it just so happens that our beta test is the notebook because we don't have enough funds to build the actual app. But uh, yeah, that's, that's phase two. What was your reaction when Jade said she was selling notebooks? Books. Okay, so Jade tells me she's selling notebooks, um, and like, I I was so confused because I thought she was like a digital internet marketer person. I was super excited. I was so hyped up. What? Yeah, I don't get it. Well, it was kind of my idea at the beginning. What? PB and J, another social engagement app. I thought she was launching like a gourmet PB and J service. P B J. So did you did you think that her idea was gonna work? Ah, uh, yeah, no, not at all. Oh, it was for sure going to blow up. I don't know why everyone was like not believing it. I, I don't get it. <laughs> so far, we've seen uh, 25 new billion dollar startups on pace with last year. Just behind Uber, you've also got Xiaomi and a bunch of others, and they're just there's a huge amount of money there. So like, I've been watching just tons of videos about these like startups and I'm just, I'm just thinking like, why not me? You know, Airbnb, Facebook, Silicon Valley is just really calling my name and I can't help but think, you know, when will my time be to shine? I always think my ideas are great, <laughs> to be honest, so I don't see why it's not working yet. But yeah, I think, um, you know, these companies, like all startups, have problems in the beginning and everyone goes through shit, okay? Everyone goes through shit, so. Now I'm gonna get some pancakes because I'm kind of depressed. So is it true that three days before launch you really didn't have the notebooks? N no, I, no, I don't. But I have this idea that it might sound weird and stupid, but what if I just got a retailer that made notebooks fast and cheap? So where were you gonna get the product? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, like Amazon? Like Amazon. Hey guys, it's Jay here. Before launching my startup, I'm headed to my mailroom to get the notebooks. Here you go. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a good one. Thank you. We got the goods. You guys, I didn't think it was going to work out, but we have our prototype of the notebook and it's actually pretty good quality. Like, really, really good quality. This is a nice faux leather that's, it feels like a journal that you would want to carry for a long time and the pages are thick. I'm really happy that I didn't go cheap because this feels really, 
really good. And what do you think about the book? Like, can you just review the product for me? Because like, I, I try to go very like luxe on the product, gay. Okay? Like, this I is luxe. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, it looks different. It's it's, it's have it's a good quality. Please tell me it's good quality. Um, it's a good yeah. It is good. I can tell like this is not cheap. Gucci yeah, stuff. this the book. I I went Shit. a little more pricier. Why are you go pricey? It's it, a cheap one. I know, but I want. Man, it man. So when we got the product, we realized there was a problem. The website we were launching upon didn't connect to the payment system, so I was reliable for coding, which I don't know how to. Which is the website I'm using because I'm not a coder, and I don't fucking look at this shit. Like what? I'm I'm not. I don't. I have no idea what any of this means. I remember telling my parents that I don't feel like I'm 18. You know, most people are going to school, having fun with their friends, and I was on the weekends just working. Um, I didn't go out. I legitimately thought there was something wrong with me. I I felt alone. My dad doesn't really work on the front part of this testing site. Actually, I don't even know why the fuck I'm doing this alone. Because I don't know how to fucking do anything. So, it's the day of launch. How do you feel? Yeah, so, day of launch, I just try to push those thoughts aside. I was really excited. I, I still had hope. I mean, money was a tie, but regardless, I had full faith in the, in the launch, for sure. Our goal is to hit 50 sales. It's 10 minutes since I launched the product and the website. And here's the thing, if we don't get 50 sales in 24 hours, no big deal. We'll go back to the drawing board. I think it's important to fail fast. I want this to fucking fail. You know what? Let's get the over. Let's get it over with. <gasps> we got three. Guys, we got fucking. So I'm, I'm messaging my team. Clara, Monica, and I are testing just the bot and making sure all of the UX experience is fluid. Really. Oh my God! We just had five sales. Five. You know, before I, I went into this being really negative and, you know, very... I, I was comparing myself to a lot of other companies and startups. Um, but, but after when I found like the first people of sales, whether that's a big number, to me that was everything. I saw that as opportunity because I realized like not everyone's going to believe in you, but the right customer will. And you need to be able to like niche down and target those people because that's who is going to be the most loyal to you. So it's, it was really hard to zone out on everyone else who didn't like the product. And there was tons of people who were confused by it. But for the people that did believe in it, like that's what we're sticking towards. And that's why we're working so hard. That's my number one motivation. Um, to people who are forward thinking and, and you know, it's hard to really alienate a lot of people, but that's what you have to do when starting small. If they just get the notebook, no one's gonna fucking know what to do. When Jade put out PBJ, I thought, oh, it was really gonna be the end of the world. PBJ, peanut butter, jelly, what is that? Hey guys, it's Jade. Thank you so much for watching. In episode two, you're gonna find out what happens when we finally ship out the notebooks. Apparently there was a huge confusion on what PBJ still was. And we got so many customer emails and questions that I almost broke down. Again, if you wanna see the next episode, make sure you click here or subscribe and ring the bell for more episodes of The Startup. This is the first episode in a new series and I'm very, very excited. And go follow me on Instagram and tag me on your Instagram story if you at all enjoyed. Your feedback is my oxygen and I can't thank you enough. Shout out to the comment. Shout out to the comment. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you wanna be the next comment winner, just comment below and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. My goals were fucking weird and I think I scared people away. Maybe just maybe just a little bit. I don't know.
I don't really give a shit also. So <laughs> that's also a problem. 